everybody. I'm Eve Costarelli and I'm here for Groove and Flow Yoga on the Natick Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's class is going to be done in a chair. So you're welcome to sit in a chair or you're welcome to obviously be on a mat if you prefer. Today's class is going to focus on the movements of the spine, which is our main supporting axis that helps us sit up straight, to stand up, and it also helps us to move, to bend over, to reach to the side and twist, and also reach to the side. So we wanna be able to move our spine in all different directions to stay the most healthy. Let's start by sitting very quietly, bringing our hands to our lap, and breathing quietly to calm and focus yourself Centering yourself on your chair in this moment to prepare for yoga. So we'll do three very calming, grounding, centering, take five breaths. And you breathe in for the count of five. And you breathe out for the count of five. Closing your eyes so all you're doing is being calm and breathing. Breathe in again and breathe out. One more time. Breathe in for the count of five and breathe out. Awesome. I hope you're ready for yoga. So I'd like you to sit a little bit forward on your chair. I'll turn my chair to the side for a moment so you'll see. I'm not, this would be sitting back where my body is relaxing in the back. But if I scoop myself forward, it's easier to put my feet flat on the floor. And then there's a space behind me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate my spine. So I'm going to hold on to my knees so I have something to ground myself. And then I'm going to start to make circles. I feel my spine go forward. It goes to the side. It goes to the back. It goes to the other side. I breathe in and I breathe out. I breathe in when I get to the front and I breathe out when I go to the back. Trying to feel my spine, not paying, paying attention to my spine and not getting distracted by other things that are around me. It's always helpful to close your eyes because then you're not distracted by things that you see and you can really focus on your spine, moving around and around, staying with your breath, breathing in and breathing out. And now we're going to go the other way. So breathe into the front in the other direction and breathe out as you go around. If you find yourself sliding back on your chair a little bit, you can always just adjust yourself forward again. My chair is kind of slippery because it's made out of metal and I have to keep adjusting myself and that's okay because you're just paying, I'm paying attention to myself and noticing, oh, I'm sliding back. Gotta pull myself forward a little bit. All right, breathing into the front, crushing up anything inside your belly. It's like, it's helping with your digestion to crush up and move the stuff around. It's massaging your organs and really help to loosen your lower back. Let's go for a few more times in this direction. Breathe in front and breathe out back. Take a breath in and breathe out. Just relax your body for a second. I'm still staying seated forward because I don't want to get lazy. So I'm going to breathe in right here and breathe out. On the next exercise, we're going to be flexing our spine. So I'm just going to turn to the side so you'll see me. When I breathe in, I pull my chest forward. And when I breathe out, I let my chest roll back. It pulls through my arms, the gateway of my shoulders, and it breathe out when I go back. 
So a couple important things about this exercise is we want to make sure our chin just keeps going forward and back like this. We don't want it to go up and down in this exercise. This is just about our mid and lower back spine rather than adding in the whole neck issue, okay? So, um, I just want to, oh yes. And now we're gonna add in a thought while we're doing our breathing. So we'll practice a few times. We're gonna breathe in and pull ourselves forward. Breathe out, round it back. See, my chin didn't move. Breathe in, come forward. Breathe out, round back. Breathe in and think the word I. Breathe out, think the word am. I in your mind, am. I am. Breathe in forward, think the word strong. Breathe out back, sweet. Strong forward, sweet back. Strong. Sweet. And combining the two, breathe in. I am back. Breathe in forward, strong. Breathe out, sweet. I am strong. Sweet. I am strong. Sweet. Now just say that in your head while you're breathing forward and breathing back. It really helps to focus you. Close your eyes. I am strong, sweet. I am strong, sweet. This is an especially good exercise for stimulating and stretching your lower spine. Keep going. It's a little bit longer. We really help our spine to become more flexible and more fluid. Like a snake is just writhing back and forth. Your spine is a snake. Keep your attention on your breathing and keep your attention on your mantra. I am strong, sweet. Keep it going just a few more times. Okay, now we're gonna breathe in. We're gonna pull ourselves forward. We're gonna zip up our pelvic floor, which is the area of our body that's closest to the seat right now. Try to lift that up just by picking it up with your muscles inside your body. Close your eyes, look out your third eye, hold your breath, and release everything. Sit back for one moment. Take a breath in and a breath out. Okay, we're gonna do some gentle neck rolls. So you really wanna take time to do this exercise slowly because we don't want to hurt the neck muscles in our neck. And this exercise is very important because it stimulates, it removes tension from your neck, but it also stimulates your thyroid. And your thyroid plays an extremely important role because it produces hormone that affects growth, development, and the rate at which you use energy. So by doing an exercise that stimulates our thyroid means it kind of sends a little to help wake it up and help it work at its best capacity to keep us healthy. So we can sit back during this exercise. And we're just gonna gently start whichever direction you want. First, you kind of bring your ear towards your shoulder. Then gently you lift your chin up and you roll, lift your chin towards the sky. 
Then you're rolling your ear over to the other side. Now you're bringing your chin towards your chest. And just continue in a very slow, breathe in when your chin goes up. Breathe out when your chin goes down. One more in the direction you're going in. And when you finish, you're just going to start and go in the other direction. So gently your ear goes towards your shoulder, the chin goes up to the sky, you feel the stretching of your neck muscles and your chin and your jaw. Your ear goes to the other side and then your chin comes towards your chest. We breathe in when our head goes back and looks up towards the sky. We breathe out when our chin comes towards our chest and we tuck ourselves in. And one more time in the direction you're going. Once you breathe out, just bringing your hands to below your belly, take a breath in and a breath out. And notice the sensation of your energy being circulated around your shoulders up by your jaw and breathe out. Okay, so we're gonna clasp our hands and put them behind our head and we're holding the ridge of our head so it helps our head, the chin be slightly tucked in and my elbows are opened wide. And I'm gonna do side stretches. Now we're just gonna bend sideways. We're not gonna bend forward or back. So we breathe in And we breathe out and we tip gently towards our right side. I'm not gonna fall off my chair so I can only bend a certain amount. Breathe in back to the center. And now tipping towards the left side, making sure that my upper elbow stays open. So only tip as much as you can have. See my arms are wide open here. When you tip, only tip as much as you can so your shoulders stay wide and you're tipping directly to the side. I really feel a stretch right through here, my shoulder and my, the way it connects to my chest muscles. Very important. Breathing into the center and gently tipping and breathing out to the side. I'm even letting the back of my chair hold me so I don't tip too much. I'm letting the, the back of the, my back rest on the back of my chair. Of course, you could do this if you were sitting more forward, but just be very cautious that you're only tipping side to side and that you're not tipping forward or back. One more on both sides. Keep your arms clasped. Take your last breath in while you're in the center. And as you breathe out, bring your hands to your lap. And take a breath in and a breath out. And just relax and notice the sensation of the energy, all the upper part of your body, from your upper back all the way up. Take a breath in and a breath out. Breathing in, I 
breathing out am in strong out sweet now we are going to scoot a little forward on our chair again because we're going to be doing a twist that i call um, washing machine and so we want to make sure we don't bang into the back of our chair what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumbs behind our shoulders and hold our shoulders in the front with the rest of our fingers once again i'm opening my chest up wide when i turn to the side i'm going to let my head come with me but not more than me to the forward and then we twist to the side forward Breathe in to the right, left. Breathe out to the right, all the way over. Make sure your hips are not moving around. Keep the lower part of your body stuck to the chair. Breathe in to the left and out to the right. You can close your eyes so you're not distracted or made dizzy by the movement of the things in your room or your surroundings. Breathe into the left, breathe out to the right. You might add a little bit more of a twisting, a little more rapid motion if you like, but make sure you're still doing your breathing, breathing into the left and out to the right. So you don't get silly and get sloppy. a few more times side to side. Keep your breath going. Last one to each side and then come to the center. Keep your arms up. Breathe in for the last time. Open your chest up wide. Lift up your pelvic floor, which is the area of your body that is on the seat right now. Hold your breath and release. Release your arms right down by your side. I'm gonna stay seated forward. I'm not gonna slouch back yet. Take a breath in and a breath out. Moving on to shoulder shrugs, where we breathe in, we bring our, shoulder, our shoulders near our ears, and then when we breathe out, we drop them down. We breathe in, we bring our shoulders up by our ears, we breathe out, drop. This really helps to release the tension in our shoulders and our neck. It'll help relax us. I can close my eyes, bring in my mantra. your center take a breath in and a breath out okay so we're going to do a cobra pose what I do here is I'm just going to I'm going to turn sideways so you see me I'm going to lift my chest up high and I'm going to let my head lift up I'm not going to drop it I want to keep strength so I feel like I'm holding everything up and I'm opening my belly and I'm curving my back, my spine, okay? We're going to do breath of fire for one minute while we hold that pose. What that is is a short breath in and then a pump with your tummy to have the breath go out. You 
want the breath to be strong and rhythmic. It'll sound like in, out, 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 mattering how fast you're going. After one minute of doing Breath of Fire, we're going to keep the pose, but we're going to slow the breath down and do long, deep breathing. Okay? So let's sit away from the edge of our chair, put our hands on our knees, lift our chest, roll our spine, lift our head to look slightly up at the ceiling, and now start your breath of fire. Keep going. We're halfway there. chest lifted and switch to long deep breathing breathe in and breathe out deep breath in powerful breath out deep breath in now lift up your pelvic floor lift up the zipper all the zippers going all the way up through your chest all the way up your spine all the way to your neck up to the top of your head and breathe out release do that one more time deep breath in lift your pelvic floor like you're trying to lift yourself standing but you're not going to move your legs you're just going to use your inner body breathe in up and release everything let it go sit back and take a rest so we're gonna rest right here in our chairs we can interlace our hands and touch our thumbs together it helps to close the energy helps to keep you from getting too distracted let your feet rest flat on the floor let your spine relax against the back of your chair let your body get heavy in your seat and just relax Notice the sensation of the energy all the way up from your hips, all the way up your body to the top of your head, and just be calm. Bring in that mantra on your inhale, I, on your exhale, am, on your inhale, strong, on your exhale, sweet. more calming relaxing breaths staying focused on the sensations inside your body okay we're just going to do a few flexes we're going to forward and back just all the way forward belly to belly to thigh arms back it's like we're rolling on the floor, but we, we can't do that here because we're sitting in our chairs. Sometimes I like to add a little bit of a roll. I pick my feet up. It's just kind of fun if you can do that. It might slide back in your chair. Whoop, all the way to the back. That keeps me from sliding around. These are my rock and rolls. Let your head go a little bit. And coming to the seat. Okay, so we're gonna do some leg stretches. So I'd like you to open your legs up wide. We're gonna hold our knees. We're gonna breathe in and we're gonna bend over with our belly towards our leg, but we're not gonna curl forward. We just wanna breathe into the center 
and bring our belly towards our leg as we breathe out. Center. You want your back to be as straight as it can. Not rigid, once again, but straight. Keep going. This is such a good exercise for the final part before we do our last exercise, really helping to integrate the movement of the hips and the freedom of the spine, which we're going to really need in the next exercise. Breathing into the center, breathing out to the side. You'll see I'm not getting all the way down. I'm just trying to bring my belly to touch my legs, but I'm not trying to bring my chest to my legs, just my belly. Even imagining I could bring my heart all the way over to my knee. Breathe into the center, one more to the right. Breathe in center, one more to the left. Breathe in center, bounce your legs up and down. All right, breathe out. <laughs> you need to hold your breath. Wobble them a little bit, wiggle them a little bit, and have them come to the center. Okay, we're gonna end with a cat and cow in our chair, which is different than the first exercise we did because we are going to use our chin in this exercise. Once again, you gotta sit a little forward, hands on knees, breathe in, open and lift, drop your head back. Breathe out, round forward. Really curl your spine. Really tuck your chin into your chest. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, curl like you're a snail. And now the snail is coming out of its shell, picking its head up, looking around. Well, don't look around, sorry. <laughs> and I'm at my eyes closed, actually. This really helps us to keep from being distracted during this exercise. Just focus on the feeling of your spine, breathing in all the way from the top of your head, all the way to the part of your spine that sits right close to the chair. Breathe in, open. Breathe out, round. Breathe in, open. And I'm really holding on to my knees so I have something to pull against. That way I give myself the most use of my spine because I'm not worrying about falling back or, or sliding. Keep going. We do have a few more moments in this exercise, really helping to integrate all of the motion, the freedom of your hips, the fluidity of your spine, the looseness near your shoulders, the relaxation, the loss of tension, and the sensation of being whole and healthy and strong and sweet. That means you're strong, but you're nice. You're nice with your strength. You use your strength for good, for yourself good, and for everybody in the world. Last one in, breathe in, open your chest up wide. Let your belly be loose. Pull into pelvic floor. Hold your breath for a moment. Feel the energy all the way up to the top of your head and release. Slide to the back of your chair. Bring your hands to your lap. Close your eyes and rest. Try to do absolutely nothing for one whole minute. Don't shift your hands. Don't scratch. Don't think. Be calm, and grounded, and relaxed. 
begin to notice the sensations in your body. Be present to those sensations. Begin to increase the awareness to every part of your body and your spine. Consolidate your presence by feeling all your sensations simultaneously in your feet, in your ankles, in your calves and shins, knees, the front and back, thighs and quads that are on the chair, uh, thighs, the, the whole thigh, the quad and the hamstrings in the back, sorry, your bottom, your lower back, your mid back, your upper back, your belly, your ribs and your chest, your arms and shoulders and hands and fingers, elbows inside and out, your neck, your jaw, your eyes, your cheeks, your forehead, your ears, the space between your ears, your whole being. Release your hands, shake them above your head like you have water on your hands. Shake goodness and happiness and spread it out like you're shaking it out with the world. Just get rid of it, shake it all over yourself. Shake it everywhere, share the love, that's right. Keep that love and happiness with you all day so you can keep it inside you and you can spread it out to the world around you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful day. I'm Eve Costarelli. This is the Native Recreation and Parks YouTube channel. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.